Pennsylvania has uh, been drilling longer than anybody. <laughs> we had the very first oil well in 1857 uh, in western Pennsylvania. And uh, not too surprisingly, uh, given our long history uh, and also the fact of the matter that a lot of very old wells drilled with uh, what today would be totally unacceptable design and technology, uh, there have been uh, a, a number of uh, orphaned or abandoned uh, wells, and the state has, over time, been trying to plug those wells. One of the things that we did with Governor Rendell at the beginning of the shale gas boom was take this inspection responsibility, and it is a serious responsibility, uh, very, very uh, seriously. Uh, we we uh, increased our inspecting inspectors uh, by twofold. Uh, we doubled the oversight staff. We, we hired uh, considerably in 2009 and 2010. We went from 88 uh, full-time employees in the oil and gas program to uh, approximately 210 by, the, by uh, early 2011. So that was a demonstration how, uh, how Pennsylvania as one state took its responsibility to provide uh, permitting uh, that makes sense uh, to all involved, as well as oversight and enforcement uh, very seriously. Josh Fox in the Sky is Pink video has somehow or another got to the point where 50% of all of the oil and gas wells in the, in the world are, are either have failed or will fail. The good news is we've been drilling oil and gas wells uh, again for a very long time, literally back to 1857 in Pennsylvania. And we, we have the best possible answer to, to that uh, point, uh, and, and that is our experience. And, and uh, despite drilling hundreds of thousands of wells and millions of wells uh, in the U.S. and around the world, uh, m most of that drilling has not led to contamination of aquifers. And if, if, the, if, if, the, uh, if, the, if they were, in fact, contaminating aquifers, we would have enormous evidence all around us of, of that. It's just not, not present in Pennsylvania. It's not present uh, anywhere else in, in the U.S. The rules concerning uh, cementing and the design of a gas well are strong. We completely rewrote those rules uh, in 2009 through 2011 to uh, strengthen them. Uh, they're as strong as anywhere in the country at this, at this point. So the, the words on the page are concerning uh, what has to be done to have a safe well in Pennsylvania now are as strong as anywhere. And I think uh, it's, it was actually important, and it's important for me to say, the industry supported every single change in the gas drilling rules that, and all of the changes uh, in the new rules headed in one direction, towards strengthening the rules uh, to try to make sure that each gas well was constructed to the highest standards.